just still the same. This smile tells it all about Emily, who is now able to live a normal life just like any other woman in the world. As she goes back to her hometown of Nyeri, she is a different woman who is now full of health. Emily is one of the great achievements that Lady Hope has made and she joins the entire Lady Hope team in crusading against cervical cancer. I'm involved directly and I can must say I appreciate a lot what uh, Lady Hope Wellness Institute are doing, cancer awareness and treatment. And so far as we celebrate today, Emily, she has been with us. We saw her when she came and the treatment has been going well. We are so grateful that uh, they have uh, put all their resources in. What we are saying as government is that uh, we should ship in and see to it that the uh, majority of these people, many, many people who are not even aware whether they have cancer, this uh, institute can be funded through the government uh, projects and that they can be able to reach more and more people because I believe more people are not aware of their health in my location. And I would, I would with the government, with the ministry concerned, with the people concerned, that if they can be able to support this group, I think we can go far and wide to make people aware of their health. Because cancer right now is killing so many people more than even HIV AIDS. And it's both, both with women and with men. It's a bit of a challenge because most of them, most of, of the, our clientele, uh, first of all, they cannot afford the means to facilitate their own screening. So any any of the times you have to go out to, to campaign and and create awareness, we still also have to dig deeper into our own pockets to facilitate their screening. Uh, whereby some of the times we screen them at our own laboratory and some of the times we send them to, uh, to Kenyatta or any other place where they can be screened like the kind of like, uh, city cancer clinics. Three months back, in Kenya's small town of Nyeri, Emily was seriously suffering from cervical cancer. She could not wake up and do her normal daily business. But thanks to Lady Hope that came to her aid and shed light into her life. She was contacted and brought to Nairobi and settled in a small house set by Lady Hope for those who are referred for further treatment at the Kenyatta National Hospital. A single-roomed house in Nairobi's Kibera slum was to be her home for the three months of her treatment at the Kenyatta National Hospital. She was assigned a person who watched her medical progress and diet twice. Mgonjwa wafaa afanya nini na akae vipi na yule ambaye yuamsaidia. Na chochote mgonjwa atakachokufanyiwa pia mimi nitamwombea Mungu awe na ule moyo wa kushukuru japo kitu kidogo. Just like any other woman Emily was so afraid when she realized that she was to undergo chemotherapy. But through counseling from Lady Hope team, she was in a position to receive that treatment, which she completed successfully. <laughs>
It's time that she bears a testimony of cervical cancer and promise to work hand in hand with Lady Hope in creating awareness and crusading for early screening among the women across the world. After successful treatment, it's time for Lady Hope to bid Emily farewell as she goes back to her hometown of Nyeri. Lady Hope Wellness is here to bid farewell to one of our patients, Emily Wajiro, who we've been supporting through her radiotherapy and chemotherapy for the last two months. Uh, we are happy that she she managed to undergo the treatment and we urge her that when she gets out there she'll be able to talk to her friends, to her neighbors, that they also go for the pub smear. She leaves behind a legacy both to Lady Hope and to her neighbors. For it's clear that cervical cancer is curable if detected early. Emily Wajiro, alikuwa jarani yetu hapa, alikuja akiwa mgonjwa, kemeendelea na matibabu yake kawaita, kienda kilini kiapa, kusa hii sasa tunaona ameendelea kupata na kusasa mikuwa vizuri. Sasa hata tunashukuru mwenyezi mungu alipitia ndani, haka msaidia mbaka hati si tunaona amekuwa vizuri, sio vila alikuwa. Kwa hivu akienda nyumbani, ambia hata wale wengine waenda wapimwe, wakipatikana wakona hiyo ukonjwa, kaza, uwa inatipiwa na inaeza pona. Emily Wajiro alikuwa jirani na leo ilikuwa ni siku yake ya kumwaga kienda nyumbani akikuja huku yenyewe alikuwa mgonjwa lakini tumeona hii ugonjwa ina tiba amekuwa akienda radiotherapy na tumeona change eh hivyo tunamwaga na tumejua kwamba hii ugonjwa ni mbaya na mtu akijua akianza matibabu tunapona Shika wa mama, wanaume, kila mtu. Kifika nyumbani ya fundishe wengine. Diposa hata wale wajaenda kupimo, kumaliwa, waweze kuenda kumaliwa.